Why is the box f***ed up? Um, because you went outside. Did they deliver it like this? No, you can get us or FedEx over delivered this. They did a great job. Jesse ran outside. Yeah, so you can get us or FedEx over delivered this. They did a great job. Jesse ran outside to do something. And so I took advantage of him not being in the shop to open the box. So this is my specialized P3 dirt jumper. Dirt jumper? Yeah, I'm gonna jump some dirt. <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> this bike box? looks like it's prepped to be like a ship to your house kind of thing there's like these plastic things down here that you have to like oh unlock God. not prepared for this if you were to buy this bike from specialized directly you would have to figure this out before you were able to open your bike and that locks on this side too Right hand the way like, you're doing this. So like I can't I don't have like grip strength with this hand. It's like potentially fractured or something. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Are you gonna cut the bike? No. There's nothing there. No. Just cut the corner of the box. That would probably work. What a process. So far, the rating on packaging kept the bike safe. Giving it like a two out of five star review on the packaging because I still can't get the bike out. Yeah, there you go. Now you're getting in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Why couldn't it just be a normal box? <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? All right. Here we are. You have like a fortress. My P3 castle. P3, specialized P3 bike build castle. Are we derailed? I feel massively derailed. I'm glad that I opened at least the top part of the box already, like before the video, because that would have just added to the hassle. I'm glad that we had an altercation with a box because it doesn't look like there's very much to do with this build at all. So at least there's something yeah, at least interesting that's the main to happen. the thing to do is get rid of the reflector. <laughs> so my rating on the packaging has now gone from two stars down to one star because of this. When I pulled off the plastic wrap, there's some pretty solid, I mean, that's a solid chunk. That's out. Chunk it. There's also I like a lot of like, <laughs> looks like somebody like stepped on it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of dirty and scratched up. So I don't know what happened there, but I decided that we're going to keep building it but jesse already took photos of the chunk <laughs> it's a dirt jumper yeah it's, it's like not a huge deal going to be on the ground i am not i'm i'm not a jumper i don't know <laughs> i honestly like like in this I'm situation like, <laughs> like even if this was a customer's bike typically what would happen in this situation is specialized um likely would offer like a credit kind of like discount the bike that's typical of these situations not super concerning um i know it's kind of a bummer but they're usually really good about this kind of yeah. stuff so i'm not trying to bust anyone's balls over it yeah, one out of five stars one out of five stars <laughs> packaging yeah but 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 usually like it, this is interesting like that new that's a new box right and if they're if they're if their new box that they spent a lot of money on isn't necessarily working like they definitely want to know and that's why it's important to submit the warranty claim and um, they can address the situation internally so this, that more people don't have this problem happen to them. This video has suddenly pivoted to be a packaging review. It's always a packaging <laughs> review. You're bleeding out. Blood. I don't know how it happened. He's <laughs> <Look at him. laughs> I have a Pike DJ, right? That you were thinking about taking? Literally 100% color related reasoning. I thought the silver on Jesse's pike would kind of look good with this frame. It's like a pink gray splatter fade with some extra gray with the paint chunk that's gone. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna probably steal that off of Jesse's dirt jumper that's in the basement of the shop right now. And we'll see if it works with these wheels. I think that was the main question. I think it will, cause I, I thought that this axle was gonna come with like 20 like millimeter or whatever downhill standard. But to me, like just that looks like a, that looks like a 15. And I see that there's like these silver spacers in here to probably shim it from 20 to 15. So I, I'm confident that it might actually work with that wheel so we're gonna go grab my go DJ and t test it out. Go fetch it, Jess. You fetch it. No. We're in business. It works. It works. I don't even have to get new wheels. Just to, still might for funsies. Just before <laughs> anybody comments, there's nothing wrong with the Marzocchi Bomber DJ. Like, that is not why we're doing this at all. I want to be clear. 
like I just like rock shocks and I like how this fork looks with this bike. Yeah. So that being said, let me know if you want to buy the Marzoki fork. Do we have literally any tools out here? No. Okay. We don't. Are you not gonna go get them? What tools do you want? I mean we just literally need like Alec case because pretty much all that's I just gave that to you and you already broke it. <laughs> I just scratched it. It's fine. You're getting a new one. <laughs> oh no, dude. You're. Oh no. <laughs> I'll get a Sharpie. We're good. Sharpie? Fine. You got the scratched up frame and then the scratched up fork. At least I like scratched up the fork on my own. It didn't come like this. Working? Yeah, swabbing the fork and then. Um... Oh, I guess I should remove the brake. So why is there a. Jesse, shush. Get out of here, <laughs> sir. Goodness, we're removing front brake because there's literally no point in having it. I don't need to stop. And legally specialized have to send out uh, a front and rear brake. So the rear brake is hydraulic. The front is just a cable. So we're taking it off. It's it's meant to be taken off. Like you buy this bike and they know you're gonna take it off. So they creators, just send the cheapest. Creator's intent remove the front brake. This has got a hydraulic and even the even the rotor's nicer. That's like a much better rotor than comes on the front wheel. And we'll be taking the rotor off also. It's just so that they can legally sell this bike. If you're wondering why there's two different brakes on it is the situation. I walked inside and apparently there was like a problem. For whatever reason, probably because the shop's a mess right now. Jesse and Jimmy set me up to film this video outside. They, they know me. What happened? I, I drop everything. When you're outside in nature, when something gets dropped, it's gone, gone. There's a washer on the other side of this bolt, or there should be, to tighten it for the grip. It is gone. It flung that way. I heard it hit a rock. Now it's gone forever, so I guess it's time for new grips. Yeah, you need new grips. Dang it. We should probably put the fork on first, though. Does so, it work? No, because I we're gonna have to like cut the steer too. Look at that. It's a lot. Do you wanna slam it? I would probably slam it because you're not. Yeah, see so I'm not tall. that Yeah. Okay, well slice it. Well, you have to mark it so I know where to I cut. have literally nothing. You guys put me outside. I have no <laughs> tools. Do I need to like grab a rock? Here. This so safe. What? This is like maximum safety right now. You're already like bleeding. Bloody knuckles like... already. I don't even know how I like started bleeding to begin with. The blood. Like when I was like kicking the box open. All right, I think I'm good. Okay, go cut it. I'm like literally stuck. There's like no tables. There's a table no right there. Benches. Yeah, I'm here though. Why? I can't even. I don't even have hands to close the knife. So the fork's just gonna fall. Everything's okay. Put out here. There's a fork on it. Yeah. It was the right call, it looks better. Yeah, I know. I for sure like this fork better. <laughs> so much that I dropped it. <laughs> it looks like you actually use this thing. You, well, not, I'm you... going to actually ride it. Let me be clear. Jesse and Gavin have been talking all this shit. I'm going to ride the fuck bike. Yeah. It's on camera. You can't not. We have to do a follow up video now. I okay. I've been using YouTube videos as ways to like basically Whoa, hold. Okay. Yeah, I'm holding Chase accountable because it's this is public now. You said you would do jumps. Yeah. Did I specify when? Get a jump no. for the camera. Why did you buy this? Off, I'm just kidding. It looks really cool. The people want to jump. The people will get a jump when I decide to jump. Have I decided to jump yet? No, I'm not jumping right now. Do I want to die in my chacos? No. These are not the shoes I want to die in. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so this is a Specialized P3. It actually feels better. So Jesse has, um, he's a truck dirt jumper. That just feels f***ing massive. So this, I actually feel more my size. Like on Jesse's, I literally feel like I'm riding like my normal size bike. Well, it's a, yeah, the ticket only comes in size large and it's like, Big. Yeah, and I'm like five three, five four, so it's like literally feels like a normal size bike for me. Definitely gonna have to cut the bars down a little bit. I don't know how much yet, but um, they definitely felt big. Yeah, super hill build. Ripped off all the reflectors. Was it? So, I mean, the build part was chill. The rest, the packaging, 
Packaging not chill. Absolute nightmare. Unboxing was not smooth. Yeah, the frame's gouged and like, I don't know what these smudges are. Like I just spit on my finger and it's not coming off. This is why I don't do matte frames. I don't know what that is because there's one on the back. Remember I thought this was dirt, but it looks like like a weird like yeah paint thing going on i don't know i would just put stickers over it if it was mine but it's up to you it's like such weird spots for stickers no it's not it's gonna take me years to find the right stickers now we have a million stickers when are when can the people expect a jump next video that you're in or like are we gonna go to the skate park or where are we going we need to go to the skate park it's probably the easiest so you're promising everybody a jump right now right not right now so we're not we're not even guaranteed a jump No, I just want to, like, I just sat on this bike just to kind of, like, see what it felt like. It is tiny for me. If you are a smaller person, the P3 is definitely a good option. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about dirt jump sizing, but this one definitely feels like a really small bike compared to my ticket. I don't think that's a bad thing, but I just wanted to put that out in the world for people to know if you're interested in maybe getting a P3. This is a P3. This one's cooler than mine, but the ticket fits me better for sure, so... I have the better bike.